you. So, Liz, uh, to begin with, the Australian radio DJs at the centre of the Royal Hospital hoax say they are gutted and heartbroken over the death of nurse Jacintha Saldana. Let's have a look at a clip we've got here. I've got it. There's not a minute that goes by that we don't think about her family and what they must be going through. And the thought that we may have played a part in that is... Garishing. You know, you, you, prank calls are made every day on every radio station in every country around the world, and they have been for a long time, and, and no one could have... No one could have imagined this to happen. And, you know, we just, we just hope that... that her family and friends are, are as good as they can be, and, and they're getting the love and support that they deserve. And we're, you know, naturally we're shattered. We're people too. Well, Michael Christian made the point there that prank phone calls have been going on since pretty well, since radio started. I can remember listening to them when Noel Edmonds used to do them as a, as a child on, uh, on Radio 1. Um, well, that would have been sort of in the 70s. And, uh, and you can't ever imagine that something that starts off as a joke, light-hearted fun, is ever going to be so bad. Um, they were saying there's one of the, one of the Australian broadcasting networks said that there was a two-thirds poll, two-thirds who were in favour of the DJs, not by what not from what they did, but saying we support you, and a third of them saying you've got blood on your hands. What do mm. you guys think? Well, I think actually society has entered a, a kind of phase where people do these things now unthinkingly. It's not like Noel Edmonds, it, it's very different. This is, um, we see bullying on Twitter. We see people committing suicide after they've had internet bullying and trolling on, on, um, on Facebook and, and other social media websites. And we seem to have gone into a phase where we take no consideration of the person who's being bullied or being pranked. And, um, and I just think that we, there's an awful lot about this we don't know yet that's to come up. We don't know whether it is just, you know, what the fact that she received the call and felt the shame of giving out the information. We don't know if she was doorstepped. We don't know if her name was revealed. We don't know if she was hounded by the media. We don't know if she was supported by her employers. There's so much yet which is to her come Her employers out. say that they supported her 100%, that she hadn't been disciplined, that, in fact, that they were completely and fully behind her. Uh, the palace have said that at no point did they make any complaints and that they were also supportive of the hospital um, and you say that that you sort of use the words bullying um, and it is like Noel Edmonds mm -hmm. that's just the, uh, and I, I'm singling him out but every DJ Steve Pink was uh, was saying this could mean the end to prank but phone I think they calls. were more innocent pranks in those you're talking that, about that sort was, of the but if you look at that, that on the basis yeah. of that if, that if, if you listen to the prank um, it's pretty clear that the two DJs didn't expect to get through and didn't expect to get anything like um, as big a story as they ended up with. Um, I'm not saying they're innocent, um, but I think the lion's share of the blame has to be borne by the radio station itself. Mm -hmm. It wasn't live. The radio station consulted with its lawyers, listened to it, and decided to broadcast it. I don't think really you know, the DJs could have possibly anticipated the likely impact, but I think the radio station, having listened to it and, and thought about its likely impact on the hospital staff, and in particular the two nurses concerned, should have decided not to broadcast it. And they haven't apologised, have they, the radio well, station? Well, I think there is, an issue, there is a legal issue here, isn't there, that if you, if you apologise, you... Accept admit playing. culpability. Mm -hmm. So I think there are legal issues there. Sometimes it's not easy to say sorry in a legal issue. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Southern Cross Osterio, which owns Today FM, said no one has looked at the hospital. It's quite easy to blame us. It's much easier to attack an Australian radio network without having your homework and find out how much responsibility we actually bear. Because, of course, they did get put through and, put for, mm. and, and the, this poor nurse who has who's paid the ultimate price for and what is what is well. a, a, mm. a a mistake yeah. a terrible mistake and of course her, her poor family who are left behind um, it'll be interesting to hear what you've got to say mm. um, about that this morning a terrible story the fact that they have started to live off with as that a for laugh the rest of their lives up, as well like that. That. terrible